Hi, I'm James Peebles and welcome to the Kickass Training segment. Uh, this is a 10 minute tutorial on uh, internet uh, tools to help you work online quicker and more effectively. Today we're going to be talking about Google, we're going to be talking about Firefox, we're going to be talking about 1Password and Tabs Mix Plus. So we've got a lot to get through, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so in whatever browser you have at the moment, I want you to go to um, the Google uh, toolbar and then type in Firefox. Go to the Mozilla page and then click on download for free. Now this works on both PCs and Macs so it can work with both. It's very simple to follow. Obviously I've already installed it so I don't need to go through that process but just follow the on-screen on instructions. Very easy and very safe to do. Okay, When you get your Firefox open for the first time you can go up to preferences and this brings up a, um, a control panel that you can do many different settings. I just uh, focus on the home page one, and I just type in the uh, the home page that I want. Every time I open Firefox, I want a particular uh, home page to come up. So this is um, the toolbar. Uh, you've got your back, your forward buttons, your reload, stop loading, and the home page. So I'm just going to click on the home page button there, and this brings up my home page. Now I choose uh, the Google toolbar because it's a very handy tool to have there. And also I can check into my um, Gmail um, account. I would recommend uh, Gmail as, a, as an email account, especially for your business because you want to be mobile, you want to be able to go on holiday and run your business, um, check your emails and just see if there's anything you need to do. So you need to be, to be really truly portable, you need to have a, a, a mobile internet service. Okay, getting into Firefox now, The this is the area that I find most useful. This is the bookmarks toolbar and what it enables you to do is if you're using, um, say if we always recommend that you work for say a maximum of three hours a day but you need to break that down so that you know for the first half an hour you do a set amount of tasks the set, and then so on. So what you can do here, I've got a daily tab and these would be the um, the tabs that I would want to open the, for the first half an hour of my uh, my work and the brilliant thing about Firefox is that you can open in all tabs so just by clicking on the open all tabs you can see that all those pages are now loading automatically. Um, so I, if I need to make a Twitter post, I can go straight to Twitter. I can go to Facebook, log into Facebook, um, make an announcement there. I can go to uh, Gmail and I can um, check my emails. So this is a really fantastic tool. And also, and it means that you can go through, you can start off maybe at the Kickass homepage, go and log in, um, do some work there. Then you can go to Twitter, as I said. Um, but once you finish those tasks, you can then say, OK, right, now I need to do some backlinking say you've written some articles and you need to get some articles out so what we do is we can go down and again you can see all these pages you click in open and all tabs and as you can see they're all opening and it means that once you have your article you can have this in a format so that you go um, you can go to easy in articles and post your article there then you can go on to the next page now these are taking obviously I've got a few pages opening there so it's taking a little bit more time um, but you can go through and you can actually post your articles OK, I posted it there, I go into article base. OK, I posted it there, and go into hub pages. And it just makes it very, very fast and very simple to do your, do your business. So you don't want to be trying to remember which sites to go to. You just want to be able to open it. So then you've done, you've posted your articles on those sites. It's taken you half an hour. So now you want to go and uh, go and do some blog posts or go and comment on some blogs and get some backlinks back to your pages. So you can go onto all of these blogs um, and you can go open them up in all tabs and you can just go in there and you can um, start making some comments on people's posts. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is 1Password. You can see this here on this, um, this is a downloadable software that integrates into Firefox or whichever browser you're using. Um, but what I recommend you do, da, 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 come on, is go and type in www.download1password.com and basically 
uh, one password is um, a password generating and remembering tool you can also keep your um, identities in there which auto fills so if you're booking a flight somewhere or if you're joining any of the um, any of the websites and you have to go through a form where it fill out your name address telephone number email address uh, username password you can just do that automatically I use the use identity function here and as you can see when I click on this it brings up James Peebles and it will automatically fill that that in itself saves you so much time um, also you see up here we've got the 1p um, uh, word there the button so if I go into my daily drop down list and I go to Gmail and I click on 1password and fill login for now I have a few um, Gmail accounts and that they're done automatically done straight away you're in and it's all about saving time now this um, one password software is um, is, it, where is it here we go is uh, free to try so you can go to download one password.com you can try it for free for 30 days um, see if you like it and if you do like it it's a one-off payment of 39.95 now I've had this software for about a year I use it every single day I find it invaluable and also it's a security thing as well because I'm probably a member of about 150 to 200 websites trying to remember all those um, usernames and passwords is incredibly difficult I don't want to write them down anywhere um, and also the danger is that people use just one password for all their sites and if that becomes compromised then people have access to your entire um, your entire list and it's also very dangerous as well if you have a hundred websites with the same password and then you say okay I want to try and change it then you might change it on 20 or 30 but then when you come back you won't remember whether you've changed it so one password takes all that out of there so I'd seriously recommend it but the amount of time that it saved me over the last year is is just phenomenal. So I definitely recommend that. Okay, the next um, the next uh, area that we're going to talk about is the view that we get on the screen here. Now, Firefox default is that all the tab headings here are horizontal, and they'll keep going horizontal, and they'll have a scroll button. But I find that when I've got fifteen or twenty websites open, I can't see everything that's going on. So I don't navigating becomes a bit of a chore. So what you need to do is you need to go to Firefox and then type in tabs mix plus. Okay, tabs mix plus, search. Okay, and this is an add-on for Firefox. So if you go to this page now, and then you just click on the button here, add to Firefox. It does it all automatically, um, and then you just have to restart Firefox. Now I've already done that, so I don't need to go down that, um, down that line. So what we're looking for here is you go up to tools, and then you go to tabs mix plus options. Okay, and this brings up a uh, control panel again for you. And what we're looking for here is the display and then tab bar. And then down here, this standard setting is uh, scrollable with buttons to the left hand side and right hand side. But you want to change that to multi row, and I'll show you why. Um, and also, I put a maximum number of rows five. So basically now on this page here, if I open up a few more tabs by going Command Tab, Command T, see that I'm opening up more tabs. But now look what happens. They open underneath. And this is a, a fantastic tool to have. It means that you can go five lines deep. It means that if you're working down here on a web page down here and you need to pop up and add something to this page up to WiseGeek, you can do that and then you can flip back to the page you were on before. I find this incredibly useful and it's probably one of the best tools as well with uh, Firefox. So the very last thing that we're going to go into now very quickly, if I just get rid of some of these tabs, Okay, we're going to have a quick look at bookmarks, Mozilla Firefox, customized Firefox. Now, because we spend a lot of time online, we need to be making sure that we're working. You might not like this gray toolbar up here, so what we're going to look, we're going to customize it, 30,000 of these, and go to popular. Popular is just the ones which a lot of people like, so you're probably going to find something in there that, you, that you'll get on with. So you can look in there, there's 30,000 of them. So look, I quite like dolphins, so I think we'll go for the dolphin so I'm going to wear this persona and that's it so there we go back to my home page and as you can see I've now customized my uh, my page and that's all we're going to talk about today so thanks very much for uh, tuning in and we'll see you in the next kickass training tutorial